In this video, I'm going to talk about how to group your shinai properly so that you can execute better tenochi. One of the most common mistakes that I see beginners making when gripping their shinai is that they hold it like a hammer with their grip choked up all the way to the suba. You can't execute tenochi properly like that. Simply put, you have to hold your shinai like a tennis racket. Like this. When you spread your fingers straight, they should be pointing straight towards the floor, not off to the side like this. The thumb and the index finger should form a V-shape with the apex of the V falling on the seam of the sukagawa. This is true of both the left hand and the right hand. In fact, this V-shape is so important that they even have a traditional name for it. It's called poraguchi or tiger's mouth. When you're wearing your kote, only your index finger should be touching the suba, not the thumb as well. You don't want to be holding the shinai like this. There should be room between the thumb and the suba. When you strike the target, it said that you should squeeze the suka with a shibori motion. This motion, short for chakken shibori, is described as wringing water out of a tea ceremony towel. But this is sometimes misunderstood as rotating the hands inward, as though you're wringing water out of a large towel using both hands. This is wrong. Chakken shibori refers to the motion of squeezing water out of a small tea towel with one hand. So in the case of a shinai, you are squeezing the sukkah as though you are holding two separate towels, not one big towel. An important part of tenoji is knowing when to apply it. You should apply tenoji immediately before the shinai contacts the target. And then once you finish the cut, you have to relax your grip. If you've done tameshigiri, which is test cutting with a real sword, then you may know that to have a straight cut, you need to apply tenochi immediately before the monochi makes contact with the target. And then all the way through the target, and then relax your tenochi after the monochi exits the target. If your tenochi is off, then the cut will curve through the target rather than going straight. The harder the target, such as bamboo, compared to tatami omote, which is rolled straw mats, then the earlier you have to apply tenochi to get a clean cut. The other thing to keep in mind is that after striking the target, your right hand shouldn't slip down from the suba, leaving a gap. This can be an indication of improper tenochi or that your suka may be a bit too long for you. If that's the case, you can check out the previous video I made about how to shorten your suka leather. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. Tenoji is one of those subtle things that takes a lot of practice. It's not too much of a stretch to say that Tenoji, along with Ki Kentai no Ichi, define the overall technical quality of your kendo and iaido. When you get both right, it gives your cut a crisp quality known as hae, sharpness but without excess power. In my experience, tenochi is one of the main crossover skills from iaido to kendo, and conversely, kiken tai no ichi is one of the main crossover skills from kendo to iaido. And I hope that these points that I've made help you in your own practice.